People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look up to you when you're alone. Hey, hey, YouTube fan. What's shaking? Pretty cedar right there. It's Valentine's Day. Yeehaw, right? Well, not for some of us anyway. Some of us are lonely, so I decided to do a fireside chat. See everything. Got a new camera setup deal that uh, has a nice tripod platform, so we're testing it out. But I wanted to say welcome. You made it. It's Valentine's Day here on the Mesa. The sun's out finally. We finally got some sun. Uh, it's been snowing, and I'm sure you've seen from my post, but sleet and hail and rain and snow. And uh, But finally, now, it is sunny and beautiful. I'll show you real quick. And look at that. Hallelujah. The snow is melting. And life's good out here on the Mesa. Sure is lonely on days like today. But uh, can't complain, guy. And <clears throat> hope you're having a blessed week this week. It's Wednesday. And uh, we got the sage here. Well, I kind of just wanted to come live on this Valentine's Day is like a Valentine's Day special and like a memorial for Suzanne Morphew. So, um, I know it's been very quiet about the Suzanne Morphew case, guys, but <clears throat> I got to tell you, there's things going down. <laughs> there's things going down, guys. I can't say much about it, but I wanted to do this. <clears throat> so I've got this. This is white sage. If you're new, if you're just checking in, this white sage helps to ward off negative energy and negative spirits. So we just got a couple. I just wanted to come live real quick. It's not going to be a long one, guys. It's Valentine's Day. I know y'all are probably all out. I hope you're enjoying with people you can love and stand and uh, your sweethearts and all that. And uh, <clears throat> But <clears throat> I just wanted to tell y'all uh, things are going, the wheels of justice are turning, guys, in Suzanne Morphew's case. Um, that's all I can say, guys, but please stay tuned. A lot, I've been noticing I've had a lot of people, about five people a day unsubscribing. Uh, I'm just, if you're still here, guys, you're not going to want to miss what's coming up in a few months. What I can tell you is that in a few months, something big, very big is happening. Uh, and I'm giddy with excitement, but I can't freaking tell you. But in a few months, guys, life's going to change big time for a lot of people. And uh, that's all I can say. I don't want to let too much go on, but... Um, if you've been a member of this channel since the beginning, uh, please stay here. Dude. Quit unsubscribing. I've had literally 15 people unsubscribe in the last couple two, couple days, guys. And I think it's because people think I'm not doing the search searches anymore. I'm 100% doing the searches, guy. This is still, first and foremost, a search channel. We're always going to be doing searches for the loss, bringing closure to families, guy. So please, um, if you're on the fence about staying... Here at AWOL Without a Cause, I'm telling you, stay. Because you're not going to miss when the ball drops what's going down, okay? Um, I really can't talk. I, I, I made a pact not to say anything. But, guys, <laughs> you're not going to believe it. What What's about to go down in a few months? So, um, I know it's a thing, pins and needles, and we're all waiting. And it seems like... Uh, in the Suzanne Morphew case, everyone's kind of forgetting and falling off. And uh, no, 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 no. There's a reason why there's a lull right now, guys. There's a reason. There's a reason. So. Anyhow. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. But stay tuned, guys. Suzanne Morphew case is not over by any means. It's still going on big time. Lots of things are going on. And um, <clears throat> I want to say thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. Um, the next uh, announcement I wanted to come live with is I'm getting a new dog, guys. Guess what? Uh, I'm getting a proper blue tick Tennessee coon hound dog. And it's being given to me free by a friend. Um, <clears throat> the dog is too rambunctious. It's cooped up in the house all day long. But this is a prop. Th this is a grade A nose dog guys i mean this is going to be perfect for the channel so we're really going to step up these searches for the lost big time coming up this spring i'm hoping to have this dog within the next week it's just my dog zuma is going through some stuff right now um she's been clicking her jaw and like passing out and, <clears throat> and let me know if you guys have ever had a dog that does that um she like and then she'll like fall over almost like a glitch in the matrix like there's something going on in her brain like it's almost like a seizure or something um but i don't know i gave her antibiotics for a while because her jaw swelled up and i think she had an infection or something but i gave her antibiotics and that solved that but she now she's doing this jaw click thing where she clicks and falls over so um you know guys she's 12 or 13 years old and a quick story about zuma <clears throat> i was coming back from a concert in las vegas nevada a widespread panic concert shout out panic and um <clears throat> I mean, I was hung over real bad, not to lie, guys. I was coming through the desert. It was blazing hot. And I came, uh, it was in the in Native American Navajo Indian Reservation. And uh, I was coming through a town right outside of uh, uh, Cayenta. It was right outside of Cayenta, Arizona. I was traveling through, and y'all, all these puppies were running around in the middle of the road, in the middle of the highway, guys. And I'm telling you, I was in tears. I got out. I was bawling, crying. I was so upset from the, being hung over through the weekend and the driving and everything. And I got all the puppies out of the road and other people were stopping. And I grabbed Zuma and put her in the car and took her with me. And that's how I got Zuma as a little puppy, guys, driving through um, Cayenta, Arizona and in the Indian Reservation. And I've had her for 12 years, guys. She's been an amazing dog. But, uh, you know, those res dogs don't last you know, they don't live but four or five years usually. So for her to be at 12, you know, and she's been loved. She's laying right back here, aren't you, Zoom? Say hi. Can you see Zoom? Here, Zoom. Huh? But we went on a big hike today. So they're, they're whooped and I just fed them. And I'm about to put some ribs on the grill. So that's what we're doing for Valentine's Day. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys are going out and eating some good food yourself for Valentine. But I want to say thanks again. I'm so grateful for you guys for watching. And, and, oh, the hound dog's name is Cleo, which is also funny because my high school sweetheart was named Cleo. <laughs> uh, she was a Greek girl from Greece, and uh, she was beautiful, a Greek princess. Shout out Cleo Bowling if you ever watch this or if you're a, a subscriber, which I don't think you are, but she lives in Italy. But anyhow... <clears throat> But I look forward for Cleo to come here. I just, I don't want to bring Cleo the dog in with Zuma and Nipsey in this little tiny cabin. And then, uh, you know, them be spatting and trying to figure out the pecking order and all that. So I think it'd be better to wait, you know, until spring. But from what I've been hearing from the farmers and locals, guys, that there's not much more snow on the horizon for Colorado. Like we're supposed to get a few more, but it's mainly going to be rain from here on out. So I think spring is starting to poke its head through. Hopefully, man, it's been a brutal winter. Um, lately, it's been sunny. I got the tank top on, so I'm thinking spring. We're thinking spring big time in here. So, um, <clears throat> but guys, it's it, you know it's hard to kind of drum up content. I've been thinking I got a bunch of stuff on the radar coming up, but I talked with some folks today, guys, and uh, <laughs> I, I've really received some good news, and life's about to change. I just so grateful. Blessings to the creator. Right? Let's just say a, have a moment of silence right now um, while this white sage burns. Let's just have a quick moment of silence for Suzanne Morphew if you guys want to.
Let's just start now. So Suzanne, we're gonna see this out, sweetheart. Um, I truly believe the Creator uh, put me there, where I was, to find what I, we found for a reason. Um, <clears throat> so I feel connected spiritually to Suzanne Moore for you guys. Um, and we're gonna see this out to the end, no matter what. And the end is coming. So, blessings up in heaven, sweetheart. Um, Blessings to the Creator. And I invite you to talk more to your higher power. And to go absent without leave. Guys, take time from your job and get out in nature. I just made that <clears throat> short recently about step outside, take a deep breath, and get real high. And that song couldn't be more true. Take time, guys, to go AWOL. Absent without leave. I mean, even if you just take a weekend vacation to get away from your job or away from the city, away from your everyday life, to recharge your batteries, reset your batteries, that is a true thing, guys. Even if it's a short weekend trip and you just go out in your local national forest, pitch a tent or go to the lake and pitch or find a campsite, even if you sleep in your car, guys, just go to a beautiful place and make a nice bed in your van or in your truck, the back of your truck or in your car, lay the seats down and enjoy nature get out in mother nature guys we are children of the sun and mother nature we are made to be out we're not made to be cooped up in concrete jungles inside you know like in fake light and, and that damn <laughs> fluorescent light neon light we're not supposed to, we're not made our skin's not made to be doing that we're supposed to be out to get vitamin d from the sun guys so please i invite you to I challenge you, take time to go outside and to get in Mother Nature with your family and your friends and who you care and love. Um, that's what life's about at the end of the day. You know, there was a, <clears throat> a survey taken on what most people said on their deathbeds. What was the most common thing said about people on their deathbeds with elderly and hospice? And the number one thing is, I wish I would have traveled and gotten outside more. Um, people get, you get so caught up in everyday life with jobs and, you know, family and work. And I understand you got bills to pay, but you also got to take time for your spirit. You got to do things for the, your, the spiritual side of yourself, which is getting out in mother nature and getting more in touch with your, the spiritual side of things. Um, like burning sage, and, uh, just getting out and getting high on nature, guys. I challenge you to do that. It's a, it, it, it'll do wonders for you. You'll go back to work on Monday after a weekend out in the woods and you'll, you'll be a new, different person. You'll be a new man. Every You'll glow. Everyone will see it too. Everyone will be making comments. Hey, what are, you, what are you doing different? You seem like a different person. Well, I got out and got right with Mother Nature. Uh, realigned your chi. You know? <clears throat> so. But that's about it. Um, I want to talk one more second. I want to talk about Chelsea Grimm a little bit. I've really been deep diving into Chelsea Grimm. And I truly believe, guys, I think she's still out there in the uh, in that area in the woods. I really do. Um, so I did more research on her vehicle, and it turns out where she was parked, where her vehicle was parked, um, there's a road that goes up there, and there's super sharp lava rock. So anyone with regular road tires, like all the locals were saying, that anyone with road tires driving up that road would have popped their tires for sure. So all these people are saying, oh, well, how do you pop two tires at once? I had some guy coming at me sideways like, oh, well, you think it's natural that two tires get popped at the same time? And I'm like, well, dude, clearly you haven't been out and done much uh, off-roading or four-wheel driving because uh, tires can pop easily on a sharp rock, buddy. So whoever you are, man, that's for you, bud. Um, anywho, it pisses me off. Uh, but yeah. Two tires can very much pop. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Yuba City 5 case from a long time ago. We're not going to get into it. But it's five guys that went up on a dirt road and all four tires, uh, their four tires popped. And everyone was like, oh, no way. All four tires would have popped in the same. Yes, it definitely can, guys. If you have some old damn road tires on a car and you drive up a gnarly road, all them tires can pop. It can very much happen. So... <clears throat> 
But I, I still think that her tires popped. Um, she was in a, a dark place uh, mentally, possibly in the midst of a mental breakdown. Um, she locked her vehicle with her camera in, fully intending on returning, I feel like, to get the camera and get to get her stuff. So I think, you know, when she parked, she had an idea of hiking out and whether she hiked out and got picked up from somebody right away from there or she hiked into the woods and perished there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, when we go down there, I really want to search the campsites that are around there because there was a lot. It was the beginning of hunting season, so there would have been a lot of hunters in the area. Okay, um, and something could have happened and she could be, you know, in, near one of those campsites, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'd like to search the camping areas the, where the hunters camp, search around in the woods, the wooded areas around there and look for depressions in the ground, shallow grave type stuff, not to get in too much into it. Um. But something tells me she's still right in that area, guys, and she just hasn't been found, whether she's in a shallow grave or just out in the open. So, and that's still on the on the on the plate, everyone. We're still going down to Chelsea Grimm. Um, I just been waiting. I, I really caught some weird flack from the search teams that are actually looking for her. So I'm just gonna let the search teams do what they do. I'm not trying to um interfere with their search for Chelsea. I'd like them for them to do as much as they can do and then be called off. And that way we can go in there with a fresh, uh, clean slate, you know, and we can start over from scratch. That's what I would like to do. A lot of people are going off. Oh, this area's already been searched. So we're going to, that's already been crossed off. And this area's already been searched. So that's crossed off. No, 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 no. We're going to go back and redo everything from the beginning. Um, they always say, you want, uh, you want something done right. You got to do it yourself. So I'm not going to go off all this. Uh, uh, we cleared that area for sure. Like, no, 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 no. I'll clear it for sure. I'll let you know if the area's clear. Uh, <clears throat> so I'd like to wait until I get this hound dog, guys, and put her in a crash course real quick on um, trying to find decomposing uh, carcasses in the woods. Uh, I have a way to do it. I, I go find roadkill and uh, I hang it up in a tree and I train the dogs that way. So <clears throat> I'd like to see if I can, I mean, this dog has a world-class nose on her, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't take very much at all for her to fall right in line with Zuma and Nipsey, you know, um, once she gets in the woods and sees what's going on, it should be easy for her. So I'd like that to be the first search for Cleo. Um, coming up, like I said, as soon as the spring hits, uh, but something tells me, guys, she's still right around in that area. So this Valentine's Day, let's say, an, say a prayer for Chelsea Grimm, too. Um, bless her heart. I know um, her family's tore up over that. And uh, things are starting to taper it off as far as the searches. But um, we're going to hit it big coming up soon, guys. I promise I'm not giving up on this. And uh, please don't think all the people that, you know, bought a painting and helped out is still going down. i just been waiting for the right time, the right window and the weather and all. So we're going to be down there soon, guys. So with that said, I just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day once more. Um, blessings to you. Have a great week for the rest of the week. I'm going to be coming live again Saturday. So I, so that's another thing. I want to make an announcement. I know I keep switching the days up, guys, but this is like <clears throat> figure it out as we go. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's the best time to post to get the best views and you got to go by the algorithm and the, the analytics and yada, yada, yada. Um, on Fridays, I was planning on doing it on Fridays, but I'm so busy with my daughter. Um, I got to go get my daughter and it's usually a long day and I don't have time to post. So I think Saturdays are going to be better. We're going to come live this Saturday. We're going to do a survival segment. I got something planned, fun planned. So you're not going to miss what I got coming up this Saturday. So stay tuned. Um, enjoy your family. Uh, God bless. Ugh. And we've been doing a ton of hiking, so I'm like, oh man. But let's show you the girls are whooped. Hey, sleepy girls. We hiked three miles today. <clears throat> the fire's starting to go out. Oh, and I got a cool video of a mountain lion I'm gonna post soon. So stay tuned for that. And uh 
Blessings to you. Say a prayer for Suzanne Morphew. And please, guys, stay tuned because it's about to get good. So, blessings. Have a great evening.